Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to discuss um, something called the My Notifications area within um, Business Central. So what is the uh, My Notifications area? Well, it's basically um, a page, uh, a setup page within Business Central that you can use um, to basically tell BC to give you notifications in certain areas of the system, okay? So um, it is up to us to uh, control um, this so we can determine when uh, we want to or when we don't want to receive these um, notifications, okay? Um, and in order to uh, set this up, uh, what we can do is just come in on our screen here to the settings cog on the, uh, the top right of the screen and I can come into my settings and I can go under the notifications section here into change when I receive notifications, okay? So um, that's one way of getting in there. And if I click into there, what I see is the My Notifications page. Uh, but equally, if I come back here and just go into search, I can search My Notifications too, directly from the Tell Me, okay? So if I click into here, um, it gives me the same screen, uh, which is just uh, my notifications here. And uh, basically what this screen does, guys, is it gives us uh, a list of the notifications that we can control on the Business Central user interface. Um, and I'm not going to go through each one here, um, but you basically get a brief description in the notification column here telling you what uh, the notification involves or where it might take place on the system. Obviously, there's a, a number of different ones. We, we'll go through a few in a minute. Um, and then um, you can choose to enable or disable the uh, notification by ticking or unticking the enable checkbox against the relevant record here, okay? Um, and in some circumstances, not all, um, you can set conditions on the notification, okay? So obviously um, you can apply these conditions, these filters um, on some of the notifications, but not all. And that's just because it doesn't really make sense to filter on some of these notifications, okay? So take this one, for example, uh, warn before posting purchase lines with zero quantity, okay? Now I should say as well, I can click into this and it will give a little bit more information. Sometimes it's just the same as what you see on the notification record, but here it tells us warn before posting lines on purchase documents where the quantity is zero. Okay, so here if I go into conditions, you'll notice I don't get anything, okay? So even if I try and click into that, it's not giving me the option to go ahead and put a condition or a filter into that particular notification. Why? Well, I guess there is no need. It doesn't make sense to be adding a condition. It's a very simple notification which we really don't need to filter down on. Okay, so for example, uh, if I go to another one here, you can see on this particular one here, so this is uh, a notification where assembly bomb availability is low, okay? And again, I can click into that and you can see this time it gives us a little bit more information. And if I want to, I can go into the conditions on there. So if I click the uh, conditions column where it says view filter details here, what this does is it allows me to go in and define filters against this particular record, okay? So you can put filters on the assembly header here, and you see I've picked a department code filter there, and I can add in that filter if I want to, right? So um, what I can do here is I can just select department code ADM for administration, and if I go okay here, see here now it's changed the conditions to where, the shortcut dimension is uh, ADM, okay? And I can add more of these as well if I want to, right? So if I go in and say, okay, see now I've got two conditions separated by a comma there, okay? And I guess really guys, this is about how do we want to see those notifications across different areas of the system. And if we change our mind, we can go ahead and clear those and press okay. And now we will receive that notification under all conditions, not just your filtered conditions. 
Okay, so as I said, guys, I'm not going to go through each one of these notifications, but if you receive a notification somewhere on the BC system, the chances are, guys, um, you might be able to come into the My Notifications area and look for something um, around that notification, and you can enable or disable it here if you want to, okay? Um, so just to show you a few of these in action, what we'll go ahead and do is just put on a purchase invoice. And we're going to go through. We're going to go through the warm before posting purchase lines with zero quantity, and that is currently enabled. And I'll also show you on the same purchase invoice uh, this notification here: purchase document with the same external document number already exists again, which is already enabled. Okay, so. What I'll go ahead and do is let me just come into purchasing and purchase invoices. I'll put on a new purchase invoice and I'll choose one of my vendors. I'm just going to put on a quick line here. And on my second line here, what I'm going to do is just put on the same product, but this time I'm not going to put in a quantity. Okay, so that was one of the notifications that we were trying to sort of um, enforce in this demo. Um, and the other one, what I'm going to do is just use the shortcut to the vendor card and I'm going to come into vendor ledger entries. And here I'm going to pick an external document number for an invoice that already exists in the vendor ledger entries for Graphic Design Institute. So if I go ahead back to my invoice and I paste that external document number into my vendor invoice number, the moment that I move off that field, you see here I've got a notification that says purchase invoice 107208 already exists for this vendor. And then I can use the shortcut here to show the vendor ledger entry. Okay, so why did I get that notification? Well, if I come into my notifications here, down here, we've said purchase document with the same external document number already exists. We've got that notification enabled, okay? So that's why we have that notification, okay? And the second one was um, the item line here where we've added on a number, but we have not added on a quantity, okay? So now, if I go ahead and try to post this invoice, see, I get a message here, one or more document lines with a value in the number field do not have a quantity specified. Do you want to continue? And I can say yes or no on this, okay? So I can carry on, but I know it's not gonna post just because um, firstly, we've got the um, duplicated vendor invoice number and secondly, because there's nothing to post on that second line. Um, okay, so what we'll go ahead and do now is let me come off this invoice and uh, here's another notification in fact. So it says the document has been saved but it is not yet posted. Are you sure you want to exit? And I can click yes or no on this, okay? So let me say yes and I'll just very quickly go back to the notification screen and what we'll do is we'll turn off those notifications, okay? So warn before posting purchase lines with zero quantity. Let's go ahead and say um, disable on that one so that is no longer enabled the notification where we warn before posting where there are purchase lines with zero quantity and if i also go ahead and disable the purchase document with same external document number already exists as well okay and uh, there's the other one here if i can find it uh, warn about unposted documents here see that one's also enabled so that was the one that we just received and we've got a filter on invoices okay um so what i'm going to do on the purchase invoice screen here again is i'm just going to go ahead and create a purchase invoice and we'll do the same that we did before so i'm going to pre graphic design institute and i'm going to paste in the same vendor invoice number and notice when I click off the field this time, I didn't get that notification, okay? Um, and if I go in again and put in our two product lines and I'm not gonna put a quantity on the second line here, this time, if I go ahead and say post, see, 
we didn't get that notification about one of the lines having uh, a zero quantity on there, okay? So it just tells me, do you want to post the invoice? Obviously, we know it's the one post because uh, of the um, purchase invoice already existing for uh, this particular vendor, okay? So um, really, guys, that's everything I wanted to show you. Um, Thanks for watching. I mean, have a play on the My Notification screen. Take a look and uh, in a sandbox environment, just uh, have a play and see what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, do reach out and uh, I'd be happy to help, guys. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.